Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Prester John. Uh, as many of you suggested, and as I kind of wanted to do myself, uh, I think we are going to declare war on Utsong pretty quickly in this. Um, someone pointed out that the Timurids are protecting Utsong, but... Or no, they're not even anymore. Wait, what? Or they warned me? Oh, they warned... Okay, so no, they, they warned me, but that only affects... Uh, declare war on, if we start a war against the third party, but that third party I guess has to be has to be neighboring the Timurids. So since the Utsong, Utsong does not neighbor the Timurids, the Timurids won't care if we declare war on Utsong, which I may have learned before, but I did not remember. Um, also, I think we are going to develop our provinces a little bit this uh, video since um, we right now are ahead on all techs. I assume yeah, no one's at. Any other tech five as, as any tech five as far as I know, except for maybe was someone down here at five? Yeah, Multan is at five for some reason. Do they have a good ruler or something? No. And they're getting totally destroyed. What I don't understand. Um, oh, Multan was being occupied. I guess it's being occupied by Delhi. What? Wait. Oh, I forgot the Timurids were at war with Delhi. That's actually interesting. Um, I don't particularly care about that. I, that's what I was saying. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna. Uh, uh, develop our provinces. Um, our capital is actually more expensive to develop because it's in the mountains than uh, Ngari is very very expensive, but Kangra and Kashmir are 57, which is not bad. And I think we're just going to develop Kashmir since it is our already our best developed province. So I don't really know. I, I like so rarely develop my provinces because I always play as people who get trash um, institution stuff and so I always save up all my points but I guess I'll just give it a this um, our production that just boosted up I, I wish I had remembered I'm, I'm gonna boost it one more time our productions right now we're getting 0.33 bucks that's now at five and now we're getting 0.37 so that's a plus 0 0.04 it's not that bad considering considering the proportions of money that we're uh, we're dealing with here um, but I also think I, I do not want to spend military power uh, because we're, I, I kind of want to stay ahead. Although, how far ahead are we? We are 50% ahead. Although, it's already 900. Oh, well, because we're 50%. I guess we could spend military power. Because it's going to be a while. Um, yeah, I'll put some military into Kashmir. I, it is kind of risky putting it into Kashmir, since someone could declare war on us and take Kashmir much easier than they could take, say, Kangra. Um, but... I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put two of each in. Oops. Okay. So we were making point. What a 1.29 taxes before. Now we're making 1.35. That's that's all right. Uh, we're barely losing money now. We were losing 0.4 ducats per month before. That's pretty good. Um, I'm fine with that. I think that'll be good for now. Um, our force limit has gone up by one, which is pretty big when you're talking about us. I'm just going to get another infantry. I'm not going to spend more money on cavalry, considering how little money we have already. And I guess we're just going to go to war with Utsong. Sagiryo Gear... Ooh, Sagiryo Gear... Sagiryo Gear is in a war. Juanpur still will not become allies with us. That's fine. I'm going to take that away for now. Unpause the game. It would be convenient if we could declare war and Sagiryo Gear would not come in. And they're actually quite close to that, so I think I'm just going to camp out for a little bit. And wait for that. Um, or reduce this stuff a little bit so we can be making some money. This war... I'm not sure I want... I mean, I guess it would... It's probably good for the Timurids to, to lose this. At least lose their... Uh, uh, vassalization of Multan. But since the Timurids will almost inevitably collapse anyway, I'm not sure I want Delhi getting all this territory. If Delhi decides to take Multanese territory. Okay, Sagiryo Gear. Sagiryo Gear, you, know, you will not come in, wow, for quite a bit. Which means we are going to... We have our troops here. Move you into Angari. It's also the, the supply limits we're dealing with here are, like, laughable. 14. I wonder what the lowest one I've ever seen is. Does it... I'm not sure it gets... Oh. I was going to say I'm not sure it gets lower than 14, but here's one that's 12. That was 13. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've definitely never seen a supply limit that's below 10, as far as I can remember, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. 
I'm gonna look up how many troops Utsong has. We may want to go over our force limit a little bit, depending on how many they have. Utsong has nine. Hmm. I'm gonna get one. Do we have we have no loans? Yeah, we have no loans. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one uh, mercenary. Just it'll cost us a little bit of money. It's gonna cost us a lot of money actually, but. That's fine. Do we have a Costas Belly? I just realized we probably don't have a Costas Belly. We do. Holy War. And we could take provinces. Okay, that's good. And we just have to win 10% of battles, right? I so rarely use this Costas Belly. Um, actually kind of helpful if Garwal came in, but they will not because we do not owe them at least 10 favors. I just want to see how far away we are from that. Not that I'm going to wait. We are, we are pretty close, but I don't care. We're going to declare war. Um, hopefully I use the right Casas Belly. Yes, thank you. So rather worry there for a sec. What's their capital? I'm thinking maybe I should wait until I see them come out here in order to move in. I don't want to get caught here and then have them come around through Shigatse, but I guess I'll do it. Try that anyway. Seems like they're running away. They do have, I guess they, so they have five provinces. A few more than we do. Could split these up. It's a little risky to split our troops up here. This is also Chong Chongtong is the biggest province in the game, right? There are a couple competitors like up in the north here, but I still think Chongtong is the biggest. This is something that I've always wondered about. The biggest, but also the only one one one, which I've always found kind of funny. Lahasa is the capital. I forgot about that. Do we go in here? You have no... You have no maneuver, so I'm gonna go in here. We're also, we're tech ahead of you. Are you gonna get out of here quicker? Quicker. 16th of February, 22nd of February. Yep, okay, you are. Um, but we could have them locked in there, and then this will... Damn, that's gonna take forever. 11th of March? Are you kidding me? It's gonna take over... What the hell? Why is it going to take so long? All right, we're just going to take Shigatse. I don't care. Have these guys camp out in Lhasa. Um, looks like they're just going to run away, which is fine. Okay, we got Shigatse moving into Lhasa, which is their only fort. Why does it take us so long to, to move? Oh, we're fighting them. Okay, and you have a general that has less maneuver than we do. Should we should, should just stack wipe you? No, not quite. Oh, we could call... Uh, oh, we just got enough favors with Garwal. I'm not going to call them in. I'm going to definitely save those favors. There's no reason to to waste those, since this is probably going to be the easiest war we fight all game. All right, they decided to attack us again. Uh, maybe this time will be a stack wipe? Yes. I don't know why they decided to do that. AI, every so often, they're usually very careful about attacking, and they, like, they of course, will almost never attack if they know they're going to lose, but every so often they do it. I guess they, like, bank on a last resort. Or maybe they calculate out that there's some tiny chance that they can... Uh, they could win the, the battle or something. I don't know. Could we vassalize Utsong? That's a question. We could. It's kind of weird. Considering how much larger than us they are, relatively. Oh my god, they're gonna move in again. you actually gonna move in and attack me. You're just gonna get destroyed, I don't understand. Do you have... No, it's still the same crappy-ass general. What? What is the motivation here? That's what I don't understand. Oh, that's actually going to be a close battle. Did not mean to have that happen, but works out in the end. <clears throat> and now, so we stop losing money, I'm going to reduce our maintenance. I'm going to take that mish or, uh, mercenary out, wherever he is. I'm going to delete him. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I think I'm going to... I'm going to take two of Utsong's provinces... Um, and then I'm going to vassalize them. So I'm going to take Chongtong and Shigatse because those will allow me to border more people for more potential wars. Um, and Kam has no allies there sitting quite pretty here with uh, nothing going for them. I'm actually going to start fabricating a claim on them right now. As I said, I don't want to move too far east, but taking a couple of these provinces... I don't want to border China, but maybe like taking these two or something, feeding those to Utsong and then annexing them. Might be nice, so I think we're going to do that. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, I, we don't have any diplomats. Okay. Take these two provinces. Vassalize you. 
and take all your money. That's too much. It would cost a hundred, like over a hundred percent war score just to take their damn money. Are you kidding me? Just get out of here. Oops. God damn it. Okay. All right, forty-nine bucks. That's fine. Uh, we have three things. Um, I guess that's fine. Also, yeah, these, yeah, yeah th this is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. <clears throat> okay. Man, look at how large we are. Now we need more rivals. Uh, so we're gonna need to rival. I actually really don't want to rival anyone. Could rival Chagatai, although I don't actually know how much they like us. Is that because of improved relations? It is. Delhi? I'm not sure about Delhi. They're, they're allies with Bengal, and I kind of want to be... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should just rival Delhi, since they're right next to us. And they do not like me at all. Yeah, they want our provinces, so I'm, I'll just rival them. And hopefully that'll be the only person we have to rival. I don't actually know how it determines how many people you have to rival, to be quite honest. Okay, 56, jeez, it's kind of expensive. Um, does it, it goes down with war exhaustion, right? Yeah, who cares. Okay. So now we're, now we're sitting, as far as I'm concerned, we're sitting pretty pretty, if I can, uh, if I can say that. We, we're pretty big, what's our total development now? 43. Oh yeah, baby. Wait. 23. Okay, our own development is 35, and then, yeah, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's, that's pretty good. Um, so we have a variety of people we could go to war with next. Actually, no, Garwal's kind of sitting here. Too bad we're allies with them, because we could pretty easily, eh. Bengal, no. Coke. I think, I think, uh, these bastards in Calm are gonna definitely be our- I need another rival? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. What the hell? Calm. Yes, perfect. That's fine. I'm going to be going to war with you, uh, very soon. Song is improving Calm's opinion of them. Okay. I need another rival? Are you joking? Fine. Uh, Nepal. Sure, you're bordering us. Okay. Move these guys to Chong Tong. I'm pause the game. The game is at five speed right now, which is a little quickly. Our mission, by the way, is still to convert Kashmir to Coptic, um, and that is... We're not going to be doing that anytime soon, but I think it's I think it's a good mission to have because it will give us missionary strength plus one. Yeah, that, that's going to be huge. That's like the most important thing in the world right now, given that our religious unit... Yeah, religious unity is 8%. That is, like, mind-boggling. Jesus. That's really plus... That's plus, almost plus three... Uh, unrest. That's terrible. Alright, so this is actually really good. Religious zeal, time to spread the good news. Um, clergy gets loyalty, doesn't matter. Missionary strength plus 1%. That may push us over for conversions? Yeah, it will. So that'll push us over for every place but Kashmir. Kashmir's exact, missionary strength is exactly zero. Um, how much is, how long is this gonna take? Yeah, this is actually pretty good. This will be finished 1470, that's fine. Uh, that's better than nothing. We also could take uh, level 6 of Diplo and military technology right now, but I'm gonna wait until <clears throat> it goes down to 10%. At least for military, I don't know, because there's no bonus of taking it early, except for, other, of course, having a stronger military than other people. Okay, it's time to go to war with Kam, who is still a military technology behind us. I'd also like to point out that we, our force limit is now 10, which is uh, almost double what we started out with, I think. We started out with like 6, maybe, or maybe we started out with 5, I don't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just going to war with Kam. Uh, Holy War, show superiority, should be easy. Lahas, or uh, Utsong. Actually, you know what? How big is Kam's army? I just want to see how careful I need to be here. Um, Kam. You have 9,000. Okay, so you have one less than us, but we still are going to need to be careful. <coughs> Utsong is not going to help us out here. So I'm going to move into Gyegu. I'm gonna just assume that Kam actually has a lot of provinces, wow. None of them are particularly good, but they're also not, like, terrible, like a lot of our provinces. You know what I'm gonna do? So since we're gonna be fighting these guys, particularly in the mountains, they also have a zero maneuver general. What is wrong with these people? 
just to make it easier on our troops, um, this, okay, so it's December 10th right now, this plus 20% modifier should go down to plus 10% uh, on January 1st, so I'm going to hope that, okay, so let's see, we're going to take this, okay, now it should be 10%, um, oh, you're moving out of there, damn it, Shigatse, February 12th, we get here, January 31st, okay, perfect, I'm going to take this, make our army stronger, I'm also going to take this so we get the plus production or trade or whatever it is, go in here. And we should destroy these guys, since we're two techs ahead of them. And we have a better general, blah, blah, blah. If we just get here in time, please, just take him out. Stack wipe would be very nice. Nope. Okay, what is comms capital is the the best question here. Dege? Yeah. Taking our second religious idea now, I think it's going to be good. I mean, I know it would be nice to keep up on admin tech, but we also really need to convert our provinces. This is, like, untenable. Uh, so, yeah going to do that. Oh no, Mong Myung, Mong Yang also declared war on them. Luckily they're as long as, so we have to make sure we take Kamdo. Please get there first. I would very much enjoy it if you got there first. 12th of April and 16th of April, you have been very bad. Wow. Well, maybe we're only going to get Gegyu. Oops. But we definitely have to go for Dege. Oh no, you're gonna leave. Oh, excellent. Oh, now you're gonna leave again. Okay, why don't you just do all the fighting for me? Uh, that'll be great. So this guy, Myung, Meng Yang, is gonna fight these guys for me, and I'm going to take all the provinces I want. Uh, and then everyone's gonna be mad about it, but I don't care. Oh, crap, we're at Utsong Separatists. Oops. Oof, I don't want that at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stomp them out. I completely just forgot about that. <clears throat> that is... That is bad, and I do not want more separatism. Um, so hopefully we could just siege these provinces out as quick as possible, and then get the hell out of Dodge. Actually, you know what? How large is this? 10,000? It's a little unfortunate. I'm going to move these guys back here. Maybe keep the rebels down a little bit. You know what? I just completely forgot that I was building a... Excuse me. <coughs> building a spy network in COM for absolutely no reason. Uh, what can we do here? with our spy network. We could... Damn. We could have had claims on these provinces so they would be cheaper. And steal their maps. No? No maps? Uh, just screw it. Who cares? Actually, we'll uh, we'll leave it there. Will we? No, we, we need that double map. Just get the hell out of there. We need some friends is what we need. Bamanis or Vijayanagar would both be kind of nice. Alright, Siege of Dege is over. We could... Okay, well, I'm going to flip all these provinces to Utsang first. We could actually give the capital Dege itself to Utsang, but that's getting a little close to China. And I do not want to be bordering China. Um, so I think we're just going to take Kamdo and Gegu. And all the money in the world, with our schnazzy shift click uh, to take the money thing. It's always too much. God damn it. We have you, like, we could have them pay us, but I think it might just, given how little money they're probably making, it might just be better to to take the money. Also, you're not going to do this. Oh, you don't even, wow. What's this? You're not even going to give us all that money? How much money will you give us? I guess I don't, I don't, well, I don't think it's actually worth waiting it out. So, I'll just take as much as you're willing to give is that. 48 bucks, that's fine. That'll save us from loans. And I think that's good. That's go That's all going to Utsong, right? Or that land. <clears throat> yeah. Of course, their development in comparison to us is actually... Yeah, Vassal's relative power to us is, <laughs> is quite high, so that is... Uh, that's pretty bad. I'm going to improve our relations with these guys since we're just going to probably annex them immediately. Um, I don't really see what other options we have. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was, like, what, two years? And the Timurids are just utterly destroyed? I've actually never... I've never played as the Timurids, so I don't really know what happens exactly. Like, why they just get such crippling rebel problems. I mean... I understand why they did, like, a historical sense, but... Um, this is... Wow, that was very quick. Okay, well... I guess, actually... 
if something happens, if something big happens, I mean, something big has already happened over here, but if big things continue to happen to the Timurids, we could always treat them as a target of war, and they are, wow, we can almost declare war on them right now. Something to consider. Holy crap. Oh my god, our inflation is 8.36. Jesus, because we took out all those stupid little $6 loans. Wow, that's crippling. Uh, that is pretty bad. Is there actually, is there someone we can get to, like, reduce that? Nope. Uh, do I want to waste all this frickin' money? Wow, that's bad. Because that affects how much money we make per month as well. Oh, that is annoying. Very annoying. Um, I guess I'll just leave it how it is now. Well, it affects our maintenance. Only fort maintenance. Uh, and we have no forts, actually. So, actually, maybe it won't do anything. So it doesn't matter right now. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get that down in the future. Okay, so as much as it pains me to put off uh, more stuff to get to... I mean, put off going straight to missionary strength plus 3%, I think I'm going to wait and take get to admin tech 6. <clears throat> I just don't want to get so far left behind that we're totally screwed. Um, it's actually... It's not that far away, particularly because we're making 11 per turn. Um, just, let's see. It's like, exactly two years, so that's fine. Also, we're actually doing pretty well on missionary conversion now. Uh, we are, let's see, yeah, we're, we're very close to having all our provinces converted. Of course, we'll have to convert Utsong's provinces once we annex them as well. Also, I am waiting just to see what happens. Uh, Nepal is a little, uh, at war alongside Bengal with Orissa, and I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to move in on Nepal when Bengal wouldn't come in. Not looking too promising. Garwal would come in on our side, but it's still, like, as long as Bengal's in the picture, we're not going to be able to deal with them. Um, and otherwise, we don't have too many other options other than Coke. Uh, eh. Now, Assam. Nah, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, it's now 3rd of September, 1473. Uh, I just took admin tech number 6. Uh, next one, we will get our second idea group, and we'll have to think about what we take then. Um, either def well, almost certainly either diplo ideas or quality, or sorry, quantity. Um, I'd I'd say since we really like we need to we need to be able to like exist in our current situation and our world without kind of being threatened, and we can either do that by being diplomatic and making a bunch of people like us, or by having a larger army, <clears throat> which we, we do not have a particularly large army right now, although we could, before I forget, oh, I don't have enough money. Do I have enough money? No, I do not. Um, yeah, we, something, something needs to happen here. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing all right. We're fine. I'm, I'm happy with where we are right now, and Utsong will eventually get annexed, although it might be a long time. I might have to do some gifts or or something with them. Actually, before I forget, oh, the merchant's, what? The merchant's estate is gone. That's interesting. Why is that? Why did that happen? Did I, did I like do something? I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching the third episode of the Kingdom of Prester John. We have definitely at least doubled the geographic size of our kingdom. Um, also, this episode, we've definitely, I've spent more, a few more, I, uh, developed our provinces a little more. I started developing Congra as well. So our development is actually pretty good now. Our development is 42, which is definitely, uh, I think, twice of what we started, around twice of what we started. Uh, see you next episode. Bye-bye.